Hi, this is Candace West. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a distressed or vintage look to any graphic or SVG that you have. Um, first, we need to acquire the actual background or the distressed background. So, the best place to do is just do a Google image search. And you can search for all these images. Now, you can choose to either pay for them or try to find a free one. Um, this one is a free site. Go find the one you want, download it, put it someplace you can find it later. Okay. So then we want to bring it into Shortcuts a lot. Open the trace window, choose the image and find where you saved it. Open that up. It's black and white, so the monochrome image setting is fine. This is going to work. It's already done the tracing, so we're going to say OK. So here we have um, our distressed background. It is actually a cut file, so all these little bits and pieces and blobs would be cut out. I am going to change the color on it so it will be easier to see what we're working with later. Um, I'm just going to make it red right now. Okay. So now we need our graphic, our SVG file. I am going to use this reindeer with ornaments. Open that up, bring it in, and place it on top. So I can move this around, either the graphic or the background, move either one of them around, so I get the distressing I think I want. I'm going to leave its, his eye clear a little bit and just try to get distressing everywhere else. Leave him there. Now in order for us to see the effect, um, we're going to color fill the reindeer too. So color, fill, and I'm going to make the reindeer black. Okay. So I <laughs> now the reindeer is on top of the other graphics so I can't really see, but if I click on hit this I can see what the distressed is going to look like, or I can bring one forward or backwards. So I will just click, and you can see where the distressing is going to hit. I can transform, arrange, I want to bring it to the front. So now where all the red is, that is, are going to be holes in this SVG. Okay, so now um, we're going to select them both. We're going to do path, back minus front, and here we have our um, new graphic or new SVG that has the vintage distressed look to it. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Looks pretty cool. Every place that there is a white space or a void, that will actually cut out. If you printed it, instead of cutting it, it just would not print in those areas. But if you cut it out of vinyl, it gives this really cool distressed look. Some of these little holes are really, really, really tiny. And you may choose to go in here and edit those out. Um, because if they're too small, the blade will just like do a little dot point. You can either edit them out or make them bigger, whatever. But I suggest you go ahead and try one. It's really fun looking, and you may be surprised how cool it looks. Thanks.